out there in TV land or vlog land or, you know, some other, you know, at least I know you're not on another planet. Or maybe you are. Maybe you are on another planet. Welcome. Uh, this is Art Talk uh, at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we are welcomed by none other than Jerry Crocker and Chris Erickson. Uh, gentlemen, thank you for joining me today. Uh, I got a good one. I, I think there's some exciting stuff going on. Uh, very excited uh, about what's happening. And uh, we're going to get into it in just a moment before, uh, um, uh, uh, so that we get more people uh, coming in, so we can get shit done. Uh, good morning, Chris. Good to see you, man. Hope you had a good weekend and uh, that um, your show went well. Your your cars and coffee down there or are the Secret Car Club event show. How many cars do you get at that event? Uh, it's And where is it specifically? I know I got an email on it, but I didn't read through it because I wasn't able to go. Uh, Ian Robert Robertson, Robertson, I almost threw an S in there. Sorry about that. Uh, thanks, Ian. Looks like you got a Mini Cooper rear end. Uh, not you personally, but the car, the icon looks good. Robert Smith, thanks for joining. Valerie, good morning. Good to see you. Uh, got a mask for you. It's right. It's right there. I think it's right there. Yeah, it's right there. That's your mask, Valerie. Uh, very cool. So uh, today, some good stuff. Uh, good day again, Vegemite Kate. <laughs> Joseph from Australia sent me some Vegemite. Uh, pretty fun. Uh, Chris, it was huge. That's cool. Uh, huge. Um, what kind of numbers are we talking? Um, huge as in huge cars or a, a big turnout? I would like to come down to it. Uh, it's just that, you know, on on Friday, we 70, 80 cars. That's nice. That's good. That's a good turnout. Uh, on, uh, on Friday, we pick up our granddaughter and we have her 24 hours and we got to take her home. So Saturday's kind of tough. And then, uh, uh, Sunday, as you know, uh, there's a new, new show that's happening in Malibu. It's just kind of a get together taking place, uh, at Malibu village every Sunday, uh, kind of like vintage, uh, vintage grocers that was happening with my friend Andy who passed away. Uh, uh, it, it's a pretty good turnout, but it's, you know, a different kind of crowd, but I, I may vlog that and show you guys that. Anyway, uh, this is our talk. Welcome. I am Fireball, and uh, my company is Fireball Publishing Group. Uh, we do automotive and sea life coloring books, as you guys know. Uh, very excited because we just launched our official first celebrity coloring book, which is the official Tony Dow coloring book uh, down in Rancho Santa Fe, San Diego. Oh, yeah, that's a little drive, San Diego. Uh, although it would be fun. It would be fun. We'll take uh, Ken's Porsche. Uh, I can't wait to see you exchange hands with that beautiful man. <laughs> I'm really hoping to see you at this event this weekend. Uh, if you're coming to Muscles and Mojo at the Murphy, uh, I got some news about that also. But um, uh, we just launched today's vlog number 993. Uh, an e-blast didn't go out. We're having some issues with the the uh, uh, the service that we use, Constant Contact. So we're gonna we're gonna get on that today. But uh, it is on YouTube. It is on our website at FireballTim.com. You can watch. Uh, today's episode, we we tour a $25 million pad that rents for, not going to say it, not going to say it, going to have to watch and find out what an astonishing price it rents for. I'll just whip that out. Yeah, I just got a whole stack of cash sitting right over here, you know, I'll just put down, I don't know, six months rent on it. No, it's only available for one month, one month. Crazy. If you got that kind of money to plunk down for a $25 million pad for one month, I don't know. I could think of a lot of other things to do with that kind of money, whatever it rents for. I, I could, I could tell you, there's a lot of things that I would do with that if I just had an extra um, X number of dollars laying around. There probably is some in here somewhere. You know, I don't know. Uh, there's a collection of Hot Wheels over here that's worth quite a bit. Don't mind saying. Uh, Laura Smith. Good morning. Uh, who else we got? Um, Ricardo Blanco is in Santa Barbara Woody Club. You guys had a great event also. If you have not seen uh, the events that uh, Rick puts on with the Santa Barbara Woody Club, you want to join them. Uh, we missed you at the Murphy yesterday. It's good that you didn't show up because we cleaned the cars. We spent the whole time just cleaning and dusting and all this stuff. But I got some masks for you, buddy. Uh, very excited about that. So uh, what else we got? Uh, you know, I wanted to give uh, some of you a heads up. I've gotten a lot of emails uh, uh, from people wanting me to explain uh, the the parameters of which Fireball Publishing is, and I can quickly do that, is that um, 
Uh, my background is I design vehicles and props, weapons, sets, that kind of stuff for movies. I've been doing it since 1986 and done about 400 films as a concept designer. A lot, mostly cars, a lot of, a lot of cars. And uh, that translated into my own company when I got together with Kathy and... Uh, um, and now we do the coloring books. As you guys know, we do shows like uh, Fireball Malibu Vlog, which is a, a, um, a show that airs on the auto channel to about 30 million households on, uh, out of Boston and Miami. And I guess San Diego is starting to come. So they're working on that, uh, which would be kind of cool. I have it out here. Uh, it's a cable network. So that's why you can reach a lot of people. It airs on uh, YouTube and a lot of the social and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then, and then, of course, uh, we have the Murphy Auto Museum, to which I'm the design director and on the board there, and and uh, we have the Fireball Gallery. Uh, lots of things at the Murphy that uh, we can't do right now, but we do have some news coming up, which I can't I can't mention right now. I'm not officially sanctioned to be able to say what the news is about the Murphy, but basically we're going to take the Murphy and put it on the outside. <laughs> Didn't hear it for me. Uh, anyway, we have a plan for. Uh, expanding muscles and mojo in a really, really, I was contemplating what I should say really three times, really cool way, really cool way, uh, for, uh, next month, starting next month. So we'll see how that goes. I'm really excited that today because I found this on the beach. This is a um, Captain America ring. It doesn't really fit, but I found that on the beach. You never know what you'll find on the beach. Uh, uh, some quick uh, updates. Um, uh, I found a, a couple of Hot Wheels. I found the GMC Cyclone, which I was very excited about. Uh, uh, really nice pimped wagon. Look at that. Uh, that's That just came out. And then lastly, the Hudson Hornet 817. Uh, it's backwards, I know. But uh, from time to time, you find some cool cool things to add to the collection. All those are going up to the Murphy uh, so that you guys can enjoy them. But the big news is the Tony Dow, official Tony Dow coloring book is out. It's available on Amazon. Uh, very excited. 20% uh, of proceeds, 10% from myself goes to Hope for Paws, and 10% from Tony and Lauren goes to the SPCA. So you'll be supporting uh, animal, uh, dog, specifically dog rescue. We all love dogs. Car people just love dogs. I don't know if there's that many dog, I mean, uh, car people that are into cats. I, I don't know. Maybe there is. But I know a lot of people bring dogs. We had a stellar, uh, amazing event last weekend with uh, uh, Wheels and Waves. Uh, and the updates, uh, we're constantly adjusting the rest of this year for Fireball Publishing. We have uh, our next book, which we're going to premiere September 1st. It is uh, Station Wagons, and we're going to be having that up at the Buellton Vintage Trailer Show, which you guys should come to, uh, come see 300 vintage trailers, something like 280 vintage trailers. And and that's at Flying Flags, uh, September 20, I think 24th or something like that. Uh, that that four day weekend, uh, and then after Station Wagons, we have the the Gary Wales collection. We're doing uh, a a bunch of his cars for a coloring book. Then after that, we're doing Bronco, yes, Bronco. Uh, so that's going to be interesting because the Bronco just came out. And then for Christmas, of course, we have the uh, the official Gene Winfield coloring book, which is uh, probably the the book I'm most excited about that because Gene is one of my heroes. Has been building cars since I don't know dinosaur age, you know. Yeah, he was building. Um, he was building wooden cars. I think he built Fred, Fred Flintstone's car. You know, back in the Stone Age. He's he's you know he's up there. He's up there. He's like ninety four, um, and he's still building cars, doing an amazing job. So Muscles and Mojo is happening this coming Sunday. I hope you guys will join us for that. Come up. You don't have to bring a car. Just come. Bring yourself. We have plenty of parking. Uh, the museum uh, it technically is not open, but it will be open for that. For that morning, uh, it's free, so you can just walk in. Uh, we are charging a dollar for a cup of coffee, right? So you're going to have to, if you want some coffee, um, pony up a buck, put it in the donation box, which we have there. Uh, just trying to think of ways to for the museum to, you know, we're not doing a GoFundMe or any of that kind of nonsense. Uh, but uh, uh, we are doing... Um, some fun stuff uh, uh, coming up with the museum. And then Kathy, of course, is doing some fun stuff, which um, I'm, I'm missing some people that are coming in. Uh, yes, Bronco. <laughs> Morning, Craig. What's up, buddy? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dennis Burnham. Good to see you guys. Tom Wharton. Good to see you. Greg Sullivan, Mad Max. Um, I don't know what that's in relation to. Is it something that I said? Uh, do we need to do a Mad Max coloring book? Surprise. There already is a Mad Max drawing. Actually, several. But if you if you grab one of our Hollywood movie car 
uh, uh, books. The Hollywood Muscle book has a Mad Max car in there. <laughs> uh, one of my favorites also. Kathy is making some masks, as you guys know. Uh, I won't be showing you that today, but she has about uh, 20 different designs already. She's kind of a badass when it comes to like pulling the trigger on stuff. Um, you know, many people uh, may be challenged in their thoughts, may be challenged in their words, um, and Kathy certainly is from time to time, but the one thing she's not challenged in is her actions. She is a badass MF when it comes to getting shit done. Uh, unbelievable. She doesn't do things small. Um, some people are out there making a mask, maybe putting a mask on Etsy, this kind of stuff. No, Kathy's already whipped out uh, 20 different designs and probably... Uh, 30 to 40 of each design and uh, and we're building a website right now so that we can provide this for you because it's not it's you know masks are are necessary right now at least right now and uh, if you're gonna wear a mask why not wear something cool wear something that's gonna be fun you know it's a conversation starter as you know like having your own name on your mug thank you to Brad and uh, uh, Rhea up in Canada it's Tim Horton it's not even me you know, but it looks like me. Smith. Yeah. Okay, we're getting into today's art talk. Uh, I, you know, I like giving you guys a little bit of update. I hope you don't mind if it's something to, that, that's going on with us. But um, it segues into um, our subject for today. Um, how, you know, I didn't write down the title of this. Here's the thing, is that we're all uh, working towards... Um, this ideal that uh, more is better, more is better. And uh, it's true on many levels when it comes to love, when it comes to fun, enjoyment, when it comes to peace, when it comes to money, when it comes to uh, uh, time. There's lots of things uh, where more applies itself uh, significantly. And uh, the thing about that is that we're, since we are all seeking the same thing, it stands to reason that if you can find a way to give that ideal to others, then success is uh, assured for you. Now, uh, let's talk about this for a moment. So we're talking about the impression of increase, the idea that uh, what you do as an artist, as a, uh, a photographer, as a chef, as someone, whatever business that you're in, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It it it, it comes across the board. If you're a stockbroker, uh, if you are uh, um, uh, making um, a glass, uh, uh, I don't know, if you're making a glass thing <laughs> that you stick stuff in, like M and M's, whatever you're making, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if if people are giving or are getting the sense that somehow their lives will be better if they have this thing, then you're on the right track. You're on the right track. So. Here's kind of what we're going through right now is that there are many things uh, because of COVID that we can't do. And I don't give a shit about those things. I don't give a shit about the things that I can't do. I want to put all of my efforts, boom, into what I can do. And it's important to keep your mind focused on what you can do and not think about what you can, can't do. Now, there's many people that get online, get on Amazon, I, on Amazon, on Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, their the blogs, you know, wherever, wherever they post, where they post a little nastiness and then they whoosh, fly the coop. Um, they're not giving the sense of increase when it comes to good things. They're giving the sense of increase when it comes to bad things, like more fear, more anxiety, more violence, more um, uh, 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 criticism more of a lot of things that, that we don't, we don't want to be involved in. And uh, they're not taking responsibility for that sense of increase that they're creating in a negative way. And it's important for us as custodians of cool that we are, right? Uh, Mike Levy, especially Mike. What's up? Uh, Pat Riley Nickel. Good to see you. Um, it's important that we're diligent about the words that we speak, about the thoughts that we think, and about the actions that we take that provide increase to others in a positive way. Uh, it's important, and that's why you know we do our, our car shows, it's why we do the coloring books. Um, you know, uh, lots of people can do a coloring book. I mean, anybody can do a coloring book, right? You can, you can pay an artist to do some drawings based on your idea, and you can get the shit out there. Uh, and anybody can do that, right? Uh, anybody can make a die-cast car, but Hot Wheels makes 
a really cool die-cast car. Which brings me to my point, is that if whatever you're into, uh, whatever it is your business is, if you wash cars for a living, if you, um, uh, if you make pasta for a living, I don't know what it is that you do for a living, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. How can you make the, the best pasta be your starting point, right? Okay, most people just want to make a good plate of pasta. You know, they want to make a, uh, a good sweater. You know, they want to make something good, right? But they're missing the whole point, you know, is that how do we give a sense of increase that, sure, if you put on a sweater, you're going to be warm. That's a sense of increase. And the door just opened. The doggy wanted to come in. So, uh, uh, I forget what I was saying. Uh, the, 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 whatever it is that you're into, if you, if you're making a cup of coffee, right? Uh, you can make a really good cup of coffee. Anybody can make a good cup of coffee, or at least most people can. But how could you make a spectacular cup of coffee, right? Is that I'm asking you guys to challenge yourself to go above and beyond the normal sense of, of providing what you do, uh, in a good way. Right, you provide what you provide is a service that's that's good or a product that's good, uh, but I'm asking you as custodians of cool, as an artisan, uh, to begin to look for ways to provide a sense of spectacular service, a sense of increase, a sense of advancement for people in a way that is unprecedented. Now you can do this; most people do it. Uh, there are uh, friends of mine that consistently provide advancement in a way that's truly unique. Now, uh, it, as an example, I have a couple of friends that are pinstripers, R you know, really good. But uh, my, my good friend Stiles, uh, Jeff Stiles, who drives something similar to this. I keep showing you this car because it's pretty freaking cool. It's got flames on it and stuff. You know, Stiles uh, goes above and beyond his sense of, of pinstriping. Uh, and he does online content. He, uh, he shares stuff. He gets into, he's into vintage trailers. He gives uh, a, a sense of that if you had his striping on your car, then you would be really proud. You would be really uh, 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 excited to tell people that he striped. It's kind of like Von Dutch. You know, I, I consider Styles to be the modern day Von Dutch uh, uh, in, in an advancing way that's even better than what Von Dutch was. Sorry, I've not been on. I'm an interstate truck driver. That's okay, Michael. That's okay. Keep driving, buddy. Honk, honk. Or in, in Australia, is it Hong Kong? I don't know what side it is. <laughs> I think you're on the, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, uh, thank you for joining us, Michael, from Australia. We got a couple of Australians. Um, everybody wants to succeed in in business, uh, whatever form of business that you're in, because if you if you succeed in business, you make more money, you can buy more shit, and you can get more, you know, Hot Wheels, like the Hudson Hornet. Yeah, that's one, it's pretty cool. It's got shit on the top too. Yeah, you can't really tell. Um, we, we want more. We want more. And uh, the, the, the problem with that, that ideology is that we're constantly seeking more, is that we're never really giving anything. We never have the giving mindset. We never get a sense to, uh, to stop thinking so much about ourselves and think about what is it that I can provide that people need? What can I give them that is above and beyond the norm, right? Now, um, uh, as an example, Kathy's Masks, which, you know, I reach over there and try to grab them, but I can't right now. I'll have those for you guys in next Art Talk. Um, we're not ready to launch all that stuff yet. We are selling them, but they're, they're you know, just on the down low at the moment. Um, so, you know, the, but the sense of increase is that that if, if you come to my restaurant and you have pasta, you're going to have pasta unlike anything you have ever had before. If you buy my coloring book, you're going to have a, a, a different experience than you've ever had with a coloring book uh, because we're gonna do books that don't exist. No one's ever come up with this idea. Um, uh, if you're going to, uh, uh, as an example, someone you're gonna, you're gonna get on your motorcycle, Valerie, you get on your motorcycle with your husband and you're gonna go ride somewhere, uh, ride somewhere uh, truly unique, someplace you've never been to before, uh, someplace that uh, maybe you've wanted to go, maybe, uh, you know, uh, I would say that you put a map up on the wall and take a dart and you toss it at a map of Los Angeles, not California, because you could end up driving to God knows where. Uh, and that would be a long road trip for the day. But for, for the day, just a map of LA and throw a dart. 
throw a dart and then and then go there wherever it is you know i mean i wouldn't recommend going into into south central you know into places that you maybe you're not comfortable although there are parts of south central that are kind of cool but my point is uh to do the unexpected to do something different um and but not only experience that but think about it because you you're getting that and you're giving each other that but i'm talking about how can you give that experience to other people? How can you share that experience? How you can give a sense of increase to other people that are riding motorcycles? And you can do that through video content. You can do that through Instagram. You can do that through Twitter or Facebook or however you want to do it, is that somehow find a way to give and share your experience so that you inspire others to do the same because it, it's gonna be your way to give increase, right? And, and uh, increase in money is great, sure, right? Uh, increase in fun, that's killer, yeah. Increase in uh, uh, love, that's, that's kill, that's even, that's even the best, right? Is that you're sharing what you love with the rest of the world, and there are many people that have motorcycles that are in other countries, you know, uh, and some people are driving, driving trucks right now, Michael, <laughs> um, and, and share that experience. Because, you know, I, I see Michael, I see Joseph, these guys uh, from Australia, but I don't know what they look like. I don't know what they look like. Uh, you guys should be sharing some photos. Um, you, should, you should be sharing some of your experience uh, as the kind of stuff that you're doing. Uh, we got a spontaneous wild hair and rode up to Carpinteria to enjoy delicious dinner and rode back down PCH. So yeah, yeah, see now, that that's always fun always fun to do is to go go to a restaurant that you haven't been to before if you can right um take a ride through the canyons uh you should you should ride your bike up to ojai uh 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 ride uh on the back side of lake casitas and go to ojai if you haven't done that uh spectacular ride. I, I grew up in ojai amazing place lots of uh great rides up there uh lots of places to stop and 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 look over the side okay so what we're trying to do is trying to get you guys as artisans to provide a sense of increase to others. Uh, you're going to provide a sense of in increase for yourself and you're going to search for that. But I want you to find a way uh, so that the more increase you create for others, uh, the more increase you'll get a chance to um, uh, experience. Uh, uh, I just got something from Michael. Let's see what happens here. Michael wants to be in the video. Um, shows up here i haven't done this before uh so michael from australia is being added to this video and i don't know if it works nothing's happening so far uh we'll we'll, we'll keep going uh salvatore carbone good morning thanks for joining us today uh who else we got um josh garrett what's up popping in to say hi and i'll catch the replay okay josh he's probably already gone at this point um People are seeking more of everything, life, love, peace, money, you know, whatever you give, uh, give increase, give a sense of increase, uh, uh, um, whether it's fun, whether that's knowledge, whether that's, but that's why people take classes uh, to learn more and that advancement will help them to be able to expand their lives and expand others is what you want to provide for your kids. Um, okay, Michael, we're still not seeing anything from you. Uh, it says it's adding, but it's, Nothing's happening. No answer from the live video guest. Okay, well, we, we reached out to you. No big deal. Uh, we'll do that again sometime. Um, now, here's the secret about, about giving increase. And this I'll leave you guys with as we move, as we wrap up today's art talk, is that uh, you understand from watching uh, past art talks and through the law of attraction is that the more you give, the more that comes back to you. So it stands to reason that, that to give more to others should be far more important than what you're giving to yourself. Most people are seeking more for themselves and spend more time for themselves, trying to make more money, trying to have more fun, trying to do this, trying to do that. And, and that's good. It's important that you want to seek that. But by doing that in a, not a uh, uh, selfish in the sense that it's all about me, 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 but selfish in that you're, you're focused on self, right? You focus on self. Many people are focused on self and you can, you can call up somebody and have a conversation and they can tell you all about what's going on in the world and they, they never ask you a single thing about yourself and then they say, okay, well, thanks for, thanks for uh, uh, talking with me and uh, goodbye, right? And click. Uh, there's quite a few people that I know 
that I have to avoid purposefully because it ends up being a, a one hour long monologue and I don't have the time for that kind of stuff. Um, it, it, it could be friends, it could be family. But it's important that when you talk to people uh, that you give them a, self of, a sense of advancement that, that by talking to you, uh, they're gonna feel good about that. But it's important that you give them that in return as well. That's what a conversation is. It's back and forth, right? Uh, but if you're having a conversation with someone, the one thing that puts you off faster than anything else is that they don't ever seem interested in anything that you're doing. So you just have a basically a monologue. They just want to talk for a bit and then, you know, they're out the door. So, you know, we know these kinds of people and, and, uh, and we're all guilty of it. We've all done that, you know, that, that our mind is so focused on self and something that's going on with us that we forget to ask them a question. Right now, if I ever do this, which I do from time to time, is that that later on, if I'm suddenly am, am blessed to become aware that uh, that I did do that, I'll immediately call them back and say, hey, I'm sorry, man, I was stuck in my own head and I didn't get a chance to ask you, you know, what's going on with you. So tell me what's what's happening. Right. So you can make up for that. And that's a very conscientious approach. And uh, people really respond to that kind of stuff because we all are in that boat. But when you're consistently uh, uh, in that self mode, uh, people don't really want to have conversations with you. So a lot of people don't have, don't have friends. They don't have, you know, a, a lot of things that we, we don't get to expand in. Right. So I put my cup of coffee and didn't take a sip. So for today, uh, for this week, uh, we get to, you get to practice. I want you guys to get out there this week. I want you to find ways uh, to take your business, the way you make money, and to expand it in, a, in the sense that you can give advancement to people that if they buy your product or they buy your service, how, how are you advancing their lives? Ask yourself that question. Write that stuff down. And if you're not able to give a big list in a way, it's okay. In fact, it's good. It's good that if you can't answer that question because you'll begin to start thinking in that mode and ask yourself and start uh, challenging yourself and thinking in a way that you haven't thought before. We can take all this COVID stuff, put it aside, wear your mask, be safe. You know, God, if I have one more person telling me to be safe. I know, I know. We all know we're supposed to be safe, right? Okay, it's not a big deal. Uh, let it go. But now it's becoming the thing instead of saying, hey, uh, have a good day, man. Good to see you. Now it's like, be safe, be safe. Be safe. It's like, everyone's not safe. We're safe. We're safe, okay? Yeah, everybody gets it. Everybody gets it. You know, that if, if you're not safe and you have sex, then, you know, bam, you can have a baby, you know, or worse, you know. Uh, all right. Okay. Just just get out there. Live your lives. Do what you can to advance others in some proper way and advance yourselves. Provide something that helps people in a unique way. And then you will both benefit. Okay. All right. That's what I got for you today. I appreciate you guys watching uh, our talk uh, as always. Uh, uh, just as a side note, I mentioned this earlier, uh, proceeds for Tony's official Tony Dow coloring book, which is available on Amazon now, 10% uh, of proceeds goes to Hope for Pause from my end, and 10% uh, goes to the SPCA on Tony's end. So 20% of all proceeds uh, for Tony's book goes to uh, Helping Dog Rescues. And if we sell a bunch of books, uh, the doggies really benefit. And that's, that's what we want. And we certainly want you guys to benefit from a great positive coloring experience. I'm going over to Tony's house today at 11 o'clock and we're gonna be shooting some fun stuff. We're gonna get those guys to compete with the maze. Uh, there's all kinds of neat stuff that we're gonna be doing this month and we're putting that stuff together. So have a spectacular day. I love you guys. I really appreciate you watching, hanging out with me. I hope in some way by watching this, your lives are advanced just by uh, the idea, the knowledge, that you can give to others and what you give will come back to you. All right, have a spectacular day.